Hello, my name is Raymond McConnell and to help you to understand how to use Mercolli Studio, I have evenly placed comments and helpful hints throughout this video. This video is of Princess Street viewed from the Edinburgh Castle. I used Universal Camera Stabilisation because I was panning an handheld phone. I enabled rolling shutter compensation to reduce the possible image distortion you can get from a phone or camcorder CMOS sensor when filming moving subjects. Rolling shutter compensation only works correctly when your camcorder has encoded the video with the correct field order. Mercolli Studio shows incorrect field order in its graph as a large number of closely packed waves. After clicking the Analyze Video button, Mercolli Studio automatically adjusts the slider controls in the settings panel to give you what it thinks is the best stabilizing settings for your video. Pan shot smoothing affects horizontal and vertical movement and has the greatest visual effect on the video.
Roll balance controls movement in the video due to rotation about the Z axis. Avoid border sets the amount of zoom used as part of the video stabilization along with pan shot smoothing. You should also know that moving avoid border and pan shot smoothing sliders far to the right increases stabilization but reduces picture quality. The Keep Camera Dynamic option stops Mercoli Studio stabilizing intentional movements by the camera operator. Zoom balance slider increases the amount of time given to changes in zoom movement. This has the effect of steadying shaky zoom. I could not find a description for pan balance in the manual. Tilt balance alters the degree of correction for rotation about the X axis and Y axis. You can input your own settings after you click on Export Stabilised Media tab and then export the video to view the effects of your changes on stabilising your video.
My phone's video resolution is 640 by 480 pixels and it uses media container format 3GP. I found out later after reading the Mercoli Studio manual that the video I used for this tutorial would be difficult to stabilise. This is because of the fingerprint on the lens blurring the right hand side of the video and the excessive movement of the phone from pointing at the ground to viewing Princess Street. 